Well, hi everybody, and today we're here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're here at the Billy Graham Library. You ready? Ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. So Dawn, do you know who Billy Graham is? Yes. You do know? So who is Billy Graham? He's a preacher. He's a preacher. I consider him America's preacher. And uh, we're gonna discover everything Billy Graham today. Well, there's beautifully manicured gardens here. Graham Family Home Place, built by Billy's father, William Franklin Graham in 1920 on Park Road, just a few miles east of this site. Well, here's the front doorstep of the Grand Family Home Place, restored through the generosity of Mel and Terry Graham. Well, Dawn, you ready? Ready. Like that, bless this house. So the color scheme in here is sea foam green and uh, this house has actually been moved two times from its original location and it's been pristinely put back together and they said their newest addition is actually that patio furniture um, it's actual furniture that the family enjoyed there's some photos of Billy and punch bowl and please do not touch some more photos a black leather Bible belonging to Morrow Coffee Graham <laughs> Beautiful living room. Looks like there's a little office. Off to the side. Yeah, beautiful, absolute beautiful um, furniture. Don, you see how beautiful this furniture is? Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. And um, beautiful stairway. I love this house. It's actually. Here's some personal effects here. Oh, wow. Look at the old refrigerator and the old iron board that comes that cool? out of the wall. Yeah, that you is. Can, you can get that as a kit from at Lowe's or Home Depot because uh, it fits right in. Like this little breakfast nook or something there. Gene and Billy and 
Mother Graham. Billy's mother speaking at the Detroit Cassade. That's really cool. Well, we're going to head into the library itself. To the barnyard chatter that God was using him in a mighty way. And he was preaching God's good news to everybody who listened. And what was, uh, of course, you know who I'm talking about Billy Graham. Years, Billy Graham has dedicated his life to proclaiming a timeless and consistent message of love and forgiveness through salvation in Jesus Christ. God is a God of love and mercy and grace and forgiveness. He doesn't want you to die. He doesn't want you to go to judgment. He doesn't want you to go After a video, it's kind of like a revival. Oh wow, so there's like a little exhibit to his wife here. That's cool. There's some um her dress there. Artifacts probably from her childhood. Right? Kind of like a TV studio. And radio. It's like a radio station. <laughs> series of sermons at Sharon Pabestrian Church in Charlotte. And the church gave him an honor rating of $165. I raced out and spent almost all of it on an engagement ring with a diamond big, so big you can almost see it with a magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, so that's, that's all. Yes. Uh, cross me from sawdust that was on the floor of a tent during the crusade at Washington Hill Street in Los Angeles, California. There is his passport. That's what this service is all about. And in that faith, we have the strength to endure something as difficult and horrendous as what. Well, here's some of the um, bumper stickers and that from some of his crusades. He used to fill out whole stadiums and around the world. And, uh, so really, was he an America's preacher, or was he a preacher of the world? Amazingly, he had a uh, very interesting life in which way you put it. And um, wow, here's two guns that were turned in by gang members during the 16th week of the crusade in New York City in 1957. Yeah. The Swiss made gold watch was a gift from the former Iraqi President Saddam Hussein to Lebanese pastor Sammy Dagger, who was a friend of the Graham family and is featured in the world flame gallery. After Sammy sent Hussein a Bible and personal letter explaining the gospel, the watch and note thanking him for the precious gift, the Holy Bible, was sent Sammy through the ambassador of Iraq and Jordan, 
The inscription on the watch reads, made from the metal of the, I'm not sure how you say that word, glorious metal of Saddam. You got a replica of the Berlin Wall here, it looks like. Billy Graham's Rap Session, Volume 1. Huh. Yeah, Billy Graham's Oak Row Top Desk. But, and then they got a gift shop. You can get all kinds of literature and what have you. They have a uh, restaurant on the inside here, shaped as a dairy bar. So we're gonna have a combo meal. I got Billy Frank and chips with a drink. Oh, wow. Vaughn's getting a sandwich. Okay, so I got potato salad. And I got the what Billy Graham barbecue, right? And a side of banana peppers. Of course, a drink. And what did you get, Don? I got a, a chicken croissant sandwich with a side of peppers and sweet pickles. And some coleslaw. And coleslaw. Yeah. And Don, your sandwich actually looks really good, actually. I wish I actually would have got you what you got. Well, Billy Graham's supposed to be laid to rest out back here. There's uh, 66 acres here. And, um, well, here is Billy Graham's final resting place, February the 21st of 2018, and his wife, Ruth, June the 14th of 2007. Billy Graham, born and raised on a dairy farm just a few miles east of the location, Billy Graham preached the gospel message to millions of people around the world in person and throughout radio, television, film, books, and the internet. When we asked how he wanted to be remembered, he just replied simply at his gravestone, states, a preacher of the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. He once said, someday you will read or hear what Billy Graham is dead. You don't believe a word of it. I shall be more alive than I am now. I will have gone into the presence of God. Wow. And, well, it was true. So, beautiful, beautiful um, resting place back there uh, in the beautiful North Carolina here, uh, just outside of Charlotte. Wow. Well, Dawn, that was Billy Graham uh, Library. What did you think about it? It was really neat. It was really neat. You know, I didn't. I guess I didn't know Billy Graham at all. Uh, the one thing I will say about the, the museum, if you go through the journey of faith, definitely have an hour and a half set aside for that because once you start, you can't go like back. Like the doors close behind you and stuff. So you got to kind of commit yourself to that whole thing. Uh, wow, it was great. Uh, who was Billy Graham? Well, he was America's pastor is really what he was also how was lunch it was good it was good it was really good. good yeah I so enjoyed we, my lunch. lunch was actually even good well that's gonna do it for today here in Charlotte North Carolina and if you like this vlog give, give it, it thumbs give up. it a thumbs up uh, please subscribe so you don't miss any of these upcoming well road trip adventures we're gonna have plenty of road trip adventures just around the corner also we'll be back in the Smokies shortly and until next time thanks for watching thanks for watching